Section 7.2 talks about addition and subtraction identities. So it turns out we have six identities, two of which I will provide if there is a question on them on the exam. So if I ask for the tangent of A plus B or the tangent of A minus B, I will provide those identities. Otherwise, they wouldn't be there. The sine and cosine you need to memorize. So if I proceed with the first identity, the sine of A plus B, well, that's the sine of the first, sine of the second, minus sine of the, plus sine of the second, cosine of the first. In addition, it doesn't seem to make much of a difference, but in subtraction, it does. When you take the sine of A minus B, you'll notice the sine of A comes first and minus the sine of b comes after so that's important and you know it alternates sine cosine sine cosine so it's very easy you're going to take the sine of the first cosine of the second and vice versa the minus must be in front of the sine of the angle after the negative cosine plays it totally different the cosine of two angles added is cosine of the first cosine of the second straightforward except this is the opposite minus the sine of the first sine of the second so that problem doesn't come up and if you take cosine of a minus b cosine of the first cosine of the second and this is the opposite sine of the first sine of the second done tangent those are provided you just have to use them properly so if i look at the first example use addition slash difference identities to find the exact value of the following I need to know the cosine of 1 of 5. Exact means no calculator. Well, how am I going to do that? I'm thinking I know of 90 degrees, 180 degrees. I know of 45 degrees, 60 and 30. The fact this has a 5 tells me I must use the 45 degrees. What do you add to 45 degrees to get 105 degrees, 60 degrees? So based on the cosine formula up there, and I'm looking at the third one down. So I'm running those one, two, three in order. If I look at the third formula down, that's cosine of the first, cosine of the second, minus sine of the first, sine of the second. That would be radical two over two and cosine of 60 is 1 half. If you need to draw the triangles, by all means, go ahead, and that will be radical 3 over 2. That would be all over 4, radical 2 minus radical 6. And there it is. Now, this is not the only way to get the answer. You could have a lot of combinations that add up to 1 of 5. You know, so any of those will do 135 degrees minus 30 degrees will be 105. You could do, but just make sure that you don't use angles that are useless. We need multiples of, <coughs> excuse me, 45 degrees. How about here? The same deal. I look at this, I'm thinking, well, I don't know what the cosine of 75 degrees is, the sine, but I know what the sine of 45 plus. 30 degrees is that as of 75 degrees that's the very first formula we have that's sine of the first sine of this sine of the first cosine of 30 plus sine of 30 cosine of 45 so these values are radical 2 over 2 and cosine of 30 is radical 3 over 2 and one half and radical two over two and that would be all over four radical six plus radical two so you make sure you show me everything on your test as you're doing these problems and here i have multiple options keep in mind the pi over 12 i don't know so if you say this is pi over 12 plus four pi over 12 yeah those add up to five pi over 12 
but that's not an angle that I know. So I would go for maybe 2 pi over 12 plus 3 pi over 12 will do the trick. Why is that? Because pi over 12, 2 pi over 12 is pi over 6 and pi over 4. If you say this is the tangent of pi over 6 plus pi over 4 according to this formula, that is tangent of the first plus tangent of the second over 1 minus tangent of the first tangent of the second and that would be tangent of I really don't remember that one 30 degrees 1 2 radical 1 over radical 3 plus 1 over 1 minus 1 over radical 3 times 1 that is 1 plus radical 3 over radical 3 minus 1. Now, if you leave your answer like that, I'll accept it. And can you go backwards? What if they gave me the problem and it looked like this? And let me separate. Those are two problems, by the way. Hey, cosine, cosine, sine, sine. I know that's the cosine of the first degree and the second degree but a minus wasn't that a plus if you look at the cosine identity if it's a minus that turns out to be a plus so that is actually the cosine of 30 degrees and I know that cosine of 30 degrees is radical 3 over 2 there it is and if I see sine and cosine alternating wouldn't that be the sine and here I gotta be careful if it's a minus, it is a minus. The minus must be in front of the sign that comes after the negative degrees. That's important. And this is 75 degrees. That is the sign of 75 minus 15 is 60 degrees. And that is the sign of 60 degrees is, oops, radical 3 over 2. Next, we have some identities to play with. Well, let's see how that works. Right side is not as complex. It's cosine of y over sine of y. But the left side, this is the cosine of x, cosine of y, minus sine of x, sine of y. This is the cosine of x, cosine of y, plus sine of x, sine of y. The denominator this is sine of the first cosine of the second plus sine of the second cosine of the first minus this is sine of the first cosine of the second oh wait a minute something's not right give me a sec okay a slight modification i changed it so the top is fine except that's a minus not a plus <laughs> so this one matched I was working at it with a minus in my head, I apologize. That minus gives you a plus. The denominator, this is minus sine of y cosine of x. So, if I glance at this, I notice at the top those cancel out. I'll get one of those plus one of those, that's two of those. And I notice this and that cancel out. I have the sine of y cosine of x plus the sine of y cosine of x. I notice here I get twice the cosine of x cosine of y divided by twice the sine of y cosine of x. Those cancel out and the twos cancel out and cosine over sine will get me the cotangent of y. You want to show me every step on identities. If I can't follow your work, you will get more credit.